Hello there! Thank you so much for joining me for my Try It Out Tuesday series. My name is Tina, and today I am trying out a new stamp set. Well, new to me, I actually don't even know when this came out, but when I saw it, I fell in love with it. It is from Neat and Tangled, and it's called Big Top Birthday, and it's the cutest little stamp set. Oh my goodness, it has so many fun images, and I thought I'd make a birthday card with it. Now I went ahead and purchased the coordinating dies. It just makes cutting out everything a lot easier and we're going to jump in and get started. I'm going to grab a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use my Mini Misty to stamp an image and I went ahead and stamped it with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I am going to be coloring it in with some alcohol markers. I'm going to grab this little cute little clown that's holding a balloon that's shaped like a donut. So adorable, I just love it. And that's the only image I'm going to be stamping. I am going to Play some music while I color it in, and I'll get back when I'm finished coloring. See you in a little bit. Okay, I just about finished her up. I'm just finishing her cute little socks. And then I'm going to grab the coordinating die and we're going to cut her out. She is so cute. Love her. I wanted her to be the main focal point on the card. And so that's why I only did one image. So I'm going to grab my Big Shot and I'll just run her through it and cut her out. After I clean up my mess a little bit. <laughs> Okay, run that through. Lovely. So cute. Adorable. Okay, now I'm grabbing a paper pad, and this is called, let's see, Party Day, and it's from Echo Park. Or no, sorry, not Echo Park, it's from Crate Paper, and it's an adorable birthday pad. And it, the colors in it are not bright or vibrant. They're more of like muted colors and that's what I liked about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some papers from it. I really liked this tan colored background and so I figured that would be a nice little card base. And then I grabbed the chevron paper and then I also grabbed the stripe paper. I cut out using uh, my stitched rectangle die that tan paper and I'm going to adhere that directly to my card base. It's a five and a half by four and a quarter um, card base, and it is um, white cardstock, and I think that looks so cute. Okay, set that aside, and then I'm going to grab that chevron paper. Now, originally, before I edited it, I had actually cut out 
a yellow piece from this but um, it kind of blended too much with the background so I thought this green chevron on the top there would go perfect with her little dress so this is why I'm I'm just trimming that a strip out of that chevron pattern there lovely and then the stripe paper here I am it's actually like a pink and a red stripe paper I'm gonna cut a one inch strip this card is super duper simple and easy but it just turned out so so cute I'm going to adhere that to the chevron to create my little border, which I didn't glue very well, so I'm re-gluing it. Lovely. And then I think that looks really good against that, that tan background there. Now as I was looking at it, I originally was going to go straight across the whole card with that pattern, but I wanted to end up popping it up. And I, I decided I wanted to go the width of that tan paper behind it. So I'm taking my pencil and I'm marking it. And then I figured while I'm at it, I want to put my sentiment on there. So I'm going to um, draw a line um, to kind of guide me to where to put my sentiment. I'm going to trim down that paper here. Just using those pencil marks that I, I created as a guide. And then it looks so cute so far. And then I'm going to grab my mini Misty to stamp the sentiment and I'm going to choose uh, the sentiment that says let's celebrate just so cute I'm going to place that right above that line that I, that I drew and then I'm going to use some versifying ink to stamp that image lovely okay now that that's done we're going to clean up the mess and we'll put that aside and then I'm going to um, take that eraser there and erase my pencil mark <laughs> clean it up and then I thought this little paper needed a little bit something more so from my stash I had some black and white Baker's twine and I'm gonna just wrap it around that little piece there twice and then secure it in the back I just use my tape runner to secure it because I'm gonna go over it with some foam tape kind of evening it out a little bit and then I'm gonna add my foam tape and then that'll help secure that Baker's Twine too. So I'm just going to remove the backing and then I'm going to place that directly on my card base here. And I had already popped up my little clown and I'm going to place her just right to the left there and I just think she looks so adorable. Now I'm looking at it and thinking it needs a little bit more. So for my stash I grabbed a button and um, it already has a sticky back on it but I wanted it to stay sticky um, and not move a little bit so I grabbed the glue dot and secured that button to my card base with that with the glue dot there and then I want to tie a little bow and secure that to the top of the button with a glue dot as well and I was happy with the way that looked it looks so cute so simple you know three pieces of paper and then one stamp image but it's just so so cute now for my stash I did grab some sequins um, I, the iridescent ones here are pretty big I think they're like eight millimeter they're pretty big and I didn't want to put too much color in that background because um, I wanted my little clown girl to be the focal point but I did want a little shimmer and so um, I'm adding a few of those big sequins and then I have the the itty bitty three millimeter clear ones that I'm just kind of placing randomly on that card there and I was happy with the way that turned out I mean it added just a subtle shine which was so nice perfect almost <laughs> one more <laughs> sometimes I go crazy over sequins oh my goodness I, I should just stop it simple but I don't so I'm teaching myself <laughs> um, next I'm grabbing these are the only red glitter drops that I have in, in I haven't used them in a while they're from stamping up but um, they're just red glitter drops and I went over the little clown's nose and her shoes just so they would pop and then I'm taking some glossy accents 
and um, I'm going to go over the center of that donut and just to make that stand out a little as well and then I ended up going over her buttons too on her cute little dress and that's it guys very very simple beautiful stamp set um, I encourage you to, to check it out but um, thanks so much for stopping by if you like this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and if you're new hit that subscribe button uh, at the end there there will be two more videos for my try it out Tuesday series if you want to check those out as well have a great day and thanks so much for stopping by.